We are joined here today uh, for this program by 15 centers. Uh, and here we have with us Dr. P.K. Tulsi. She is Professor Education and Education Management Department of NITA. He is Professor and Head Civil Engineering Department of this institute. Dr. S.S. Banwer, he is Professor and Head IMCO Department, NITA Chandigarh. And the centers that are connected to us for this program, we have with us uh, Graphic Era University, Dehradun. TTC Jodhpur, MMU Mulana, these are the three centers that will be connected to us through video conferencing. And other uh, centers connected are Baddi University, Government Engineering College Bikane, Gitanjali Institute of Technology and Science Udaipur, Government Polytechnic Narendra Uttarakhand, LR Polytechnic Solan, Baba Hira Singh Badal Institute of Engineering and Technology Nehra Daga, NGF College of Engineering and Technology, Palwal, Haryana, JIEM, Jaipur, IMS, Jammu, Vidya Bhavan Polytechnic, Udaipur, Government Polytechnic, Dehradun, and JEC, Jaipur. So I would uh, first request Dr. Sanjay Sharma to kindly tell us in brief about this program and its objectives. Uh, good morning, everybody. I welcome uh, all the participants from all the centers for this uh, a program on uh, environment engineering and management. Uh, this is the first program we are conducting on this topic. And uh, I think we all understand the uh, importance of uh, environment <laughs> and uh, creating awareness and uh, as engineers, we need to uh, take uh, all sort of steps to uh, make uh, basically our environment more friendly. And uh, we have to uh, actually we want to maintain the present status, and uh, uh, we want to reduce the pollution and uh, <coughs> prevent deterioration of our surroundings. So with that objective, I think uh, we have tried to. Uh, have this program designed in a way that uh, which is relevant to all the branches of the engineering. So uh, our main objective will be that to discuss what type of a uh, say problems are there or what type of uh, as, uh, basically how the environment is getting deteriorated, how it is, uh, what sort of a pollutions are there, and then briefly. As engineers or as a as a technical persons from say engineering background, what steps can be taken for remedial measures? So with this objective, we have uh, designed this program. That is why actually we requested each and every center that uh, all the uh, branches from faculty from all the branches, basically it is relevant to uh, uh, the participants. And uh, <coughs> Uh, we have uh, we will be discussing about uh, uh, like like topics on uh, water pollution, air pollution, uh, 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 pollutions to do solid waste and uh, noise pollution. Then I think uh, nowadays the focus is more on preventing the pollution to occur uh, in the first step. Actually, basically it is uh, uh, instead of okay, we instead of going for treatment technologies. Our focus will be on how to prevent the pollution at the source itself. So basically, for that purposes, uh, what are the management techniques and uh, what sort of uh, uh, steps are required to be taken? So uh, those things are really, really very important because uh, you see that uh, once we are talking about these treatment technologies, there are a lot of uh, basically uh, you can say infrastructure is required. A uh, lot of funds are required to carry out the treatment processes. And then uh, I think uh, uh, there is a uh, scarcity of uh, resources also. So uh, I think main principle that we use recycle. So that has to be followed. And basically in that, uh, a, a, with that focus, cleaner production techniques and uh, pollution prevention techniques are more important as compared to your uh, these uh, <coughs> uh, pollution control techniques. So, and uh, uh, that is what actually we will be discussing uh, with this uh, focus during uh, during these five days of the program. And we have invited uh, 
uh, experts uh, who are working in this area. Uh, uh, so they will be discussing. I think you will find all the sessions uh, very, very uh, effective and useful one. And I will like to have as a interaction. Uh, I think two way interaction among the participants. So basically, uh, and uh, you can keep your uh, say questions for the panel discussions, which is which is kept on the sixth afternoon session. So that uh, whatever you want to discuss, so basically those things can also be discussed. Where also we will be having experts uh, coming from the uh, say actually uh, 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 specialized experts coming for this panel discussion. So uh, with this background, I again welcome all of you, uh, and I, I uh, and I hope here we will have a fruitful discussions during all these five days. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Sharma. Uh, since we have more than 10 centers connected to us today, so we'll be short on time to have introduction of all. I would request the centers to give a very brief introduction and we give them the mic. So I first uh, like to request Government Engineering College Pita Nair coordinator to kindly give a short introduction and I request his chief guest to kindly address us. I'm connected. Mm -hmm. It's not connected. I guess Bikaner has been disconnected right now, so maybe we can move to Baddi University. I request the coordinator to find with this. Um. <laughs> Yes, Hello. sir. Yes, sir. You are audible. Yes, yes. You are audible, please. Hello. Yes, sir. Carry on. You are audible. Thank you. I'm Dr. Ramesh from Bharti University. I introduce Dr. Pranav S. S. Dasaha, who is our vice chancellor of the university. So I will give a brief profile of him. Major S. S. Dr. S. S. Dasaha. He is a retired from person. He is the vice chancellor of the Badi University of Emerging Science and Technology. He is at the helm of affairs since the last few months. He was recently director of Sikkim Manipal Institute of Technology under the Sikkim Manipal University, which is a part of a famous medical education and medical program. General Dhaka is a soldier and he is a medical expert and an expert. All combined. He has four decades of experience, of which he spent 35 years in the Indian Army. Before joining the Army, he worked at Bharat Gold Mines Limited, a public sector undertaking, and Cameron India Limited, a private sector undertaking. He did his decent civil engineering from Anha University, and he is in engineering from the University of Lodi, and he is engineering construction and management from the University of Pune, PG diploma in public medicine from Punjabi University Patiala. Master of Medicine Studies from Osmania University, MSc in Defense Studies from Madras University, and MC in Defense Studies also from Madras University. He holds a PhD degree in Business Management from Osmania University. In addition, he holds a number of other qualifications from a few other universities and institutes. While in the Army, he worked actively with the troops in combat and spent most of his years in Jammu and Kashmir and the North East. He was he is the engineer of a project system of border roads organization in Srinagar. He specialized in operational logistics management in various ranks. He retired from the army in 2011 as a major general of the logistics of headquarters East Command at Kolkata. While in the army, he taught in the College of Military Engineering at Pune as assistant and associate professor. He was the head of the Faculty of Strategic Studies, research in presidency in the College of Defense Management at Hyderabad. He also worked in the Army Training Command of Shimla in the King French Society of Indian Army. While in the Army, he received two awards from His Excellency, the President of India, Dr. Sina Medal in 2007, and the Chief of Medal in 2011 for his leadership qualities and for distinguished meritorious services. While working in the Second Manipal Institute of Technology, he successfully initiated a number of measures to improve the aspects of teaching and research. During his tenure there, this institute received competition success review top institutes of India's award for two consecutive years in 2012 and 2013. 
Yes, sir. So we can hear you. Yes, sir. We can hear you, sir. Continue, sir. Good morning to all of you. Uh, department here in the Madhya Pradesh. Department across the other sectors, and also to the in Anand Kutia. I am glad that this ICT based program on the environmental engineering and management is being conducted. Last month we were fortunate to have had a similar one on the ICT based one on industrial training program. Our faculty was highly enriched by their exposure. I am sure even this program will look forward to very interesting and and relevant topics. The topic on the environment engineering and management I consider could not have come at a more relevant time than this. Especially being an age who closely work with the environment, this is very relevant. We are all aware that for long the industrial growth was directly related to the economic degradation. That is, the more the industrial growth is there, the more is the economic degradation or the environment degradation. That obviously will not be acceptable. We are all aware of the fact that as the nations develop, economy develops, industrial growth develops. So there will definitely be the migration of population from rural areas to the urban areas from rural areas to the industrial center. But this does not and should not necessarily mean that it is at the cost of the or the environment management. We are all conscious of the fact that we are custodians of this planet. As it is often said that the planet is handed over to us by our forefathers on loan to be passed safely for future generations. If this has to take place, we have to strike a balance between the required economic growth and industrial growth and also the required economic conservation. If we do not take care of the ecosystem, then we know this is and the I am sure that whatever the research topic, whatever places that you make, the faculty will be attending to all this with only English. At the end, I once again would like to thank Dr. Kunia in Anand Kutia and his team for enabling this. Thank you all. Wish you all the best. Jai Hind. Thank you, sir. Uh, now I request. Uh, is it Vikan? Yes. Okay, we can invite uh, Government Engineering College Vikan to kindly introduce themselves. Hello. Hello. Yes. The calling from the Government Engineering College Beacon here. Are you able to hear me? Yes, we can hear you, please. Ma'am, our visitor is just coming. We are sorry to say that within five or ten minutes he will be here. Right. After that he will we move to the next center then. Sure. Okay. Thank you. Uh, let's have Government Polytechnic Narendra Nagar Uttarakhand. <laughs> 
हेलो हेलो यस यस सर हेलो हेलो यस सर वी आर एबल टू हियर दिस इज कॉमन कॉन्टैक्टिंग डायरेक्टर ऑफ उत्तराखंड we take it better in introducing ourselves this is an institute which was established way back in 1975 and it has which is uh, doing yeoman uh, service to the engineering sector we have on our roles electrical engineering electronics information technology pharmacy and pgdc and uh, most of our students are getting placed uh, with the best in the industry uh, i take this opportunity to introduce to you we have with us our chief guest for today Today's inaugural session, Mr. Subrat Ranjan Das, Branch Manager, State Bank of India, Narendra Gar. We also have our principal, under whose stewardship we are doing the human service for the engineering sector, Sir V K Singh. I take this opportunity now to hand over the mic to Mr. Subrat Ranjan Das to welcome you all at the NIT attendee. और उसके बाद मैं गवर्नमेंट पॉलिटेक्निक नरेंद्र नगर प्रिंसिपल श्री बी के सिंह और उनके सभी स्टाफ की तरफ से ये ये जो ये हमारा आज के डेट में ये जो ट्रेनिंग प्रोग्राम है ये फाइव डेज का एन आई टी आर के ये है एनवायरमेंटल इंजीनियरिंग ये आज के समय में एनवायरमेंट एक बहुत ही इम्पोर्टेंट इशू है जिसपे हर किसी को सोचना चाहिए और खुद को ही इसपे सोच रहा है एनवायरमेंट क्योंकि जैसे जैसे इंजीनियरिंग में डेवलपमेंट हो रहा है साथ के साथ कई चीजें हैं जैसे एनवायरमेंट यूज कर तो अब जरूरत है इस पर कि हम कैसे अपनी इंजीनियरिंग को और जो टेक्नोलॉजी हम डेवलप करते हैं वो एनवायरमेंटल फ्रेंडली हो जैसे कि हमारा एनवायरमेंट भी वो सेफ रहे और साथ के साथ हमारा डेवलपमेंट भी हो पाए और मैं सबको यहाँ जितने भी पार्टिसिपेंट हैं सबको मैं बहुत बधाई देता हूँ और उनको एक बहुत अच्छी अपॉर्चुनिटी मिली है और ये जो ट्रेनिंग प्रोग्राम है जिसमें नरेंद्र नगर भी आज के डेट में शामिल है ये पहली बार यहाँ पे इस तरीके का कोई प्रोग्राम शुरू हुआ है और ये मैं समझता हूँ बहुत ही यहाँ सबके लिए बेनिफिशियल होगा और आगे भी जितना डेवलपमेंट में ये अपना सहयोग दे सकते हैं हेलो हेलो समझी का एक्टिविटी का पॉलिसी बना चलिए उन्होंने हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग मैम माय सर अरुण कुमार मोहर आई एम ग्रैंड डायरेक्टर एट बीजेसी एंड एनआरटीसी इट इज अ वेरी सेंटर फॉर द ऑल द टीचर्स ऑफ राजस्थान पॉलिटेक्निक कॉलेज I welcome you all the distinguished guests sitting at different centers, and uh, I think this post is uh, quite relevant in the present time. And uh, we find uh, pollution and disturbance everywhere. So I hope this post will help us enable to reduce all type of pollution, whether it is air pollution, water pollution. Sound pollution. There are many types of pollution. Plastic pollution. So we have to control all this. And without getting awareness about this, these things, people will not be able to control these things. Everyone wants to have the things, but no one knows how to handle the things so that our environment does not get disturbed. So I hope this post will be a good boon. Uh, to technical education as well as to the society. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Moyle. Uh, I request MMU Mulana to kindly introduce themselves. Thank you very much, ma'am. First of all, I would like to thank Dr. Sharma, Sanjay Sharma, for giving us an opportunity to attend this program. Myself, Upendra Bhatia, head of civil engineering. 
Here at MMEC in Ulana, we are offering four year BTEC degree programs, six years BTEC a diploma BTEC integrated program, master's level MTEC programs, and PhD programs at our institute. We at Anand University in Milana are about 55 participants over here, and I'm sure that the faculty will be benefited from the expert talks of the learned speakers. Now, I would like to introduce now Dr. J.K. Sharma, our chief guest of today's function. Presently, Dr. Sharma is holding the highest administrative post of the college, that is, principal of Anand Engineering College, Milana. He has many research papers, research articles, discussions, and a number of books published to his credit. He is not only a renowned academician, but also a successful administrator and a very nice human being. Now I would request Dr. J.K. Sharma sir to say a few words. Thank you. Dr. Sanjay Sharma, program coordinator, respected Dr. S.P. Bedi, other dignitaries and distinguished guests, on the behalf of MM University Mulana and Civil Department, it's my privilege to thank all team of NI faculty and Chandigarh for providing us opportunity to be a part of this ICT-based faculty development program for environmental engineering and management. I feel this FDP is not restricted to my any specific branch of engineering, rather it is a topic of everybody's concern. The duration of air, water and land quality is increasing day by day and causing threat to save survival of many species on earth. So it is high time that people <coughs> should be educated on this issue and they should be encouraged to step forward towards environmental protection. So I hope this FDP is absolutely right form to train the teachers on this issue of today's greatest concern. I wish the organizers a successful conduct of this program. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Sharma and Dr. Bhatia from Mulana. I now request the Tanjali Institute of Technology and Science Udaipur to kindly introduce themselves. Yes, B. Yeah, today is our chief guest is Dr. Alba Raman. So uh, he was a senior space research engineer for 23 years in Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO, totally doing. FEM static dynamic response, acoustic heat transfer, non linear analysis for more than 50 real life space segment systems such as IRS, Apple, Rohini series satellites, Andinas, radar, infrared, uh, astronomical, Gregorian telescope, ESLV segment, and flown successfully. Seven years served as professor in mechanical engineering under the United Nations Development Program in Ethiopia and also in India. Now he, is a, he was a principal, he worked as a principal in private engineering colleges for the past five years in India. Uh, he obtained bachelor degree in aeronautics in 1975, ME in aeronautics from IIC Bangalore in 1977 and PhD from IIT Madras in 1998 with consistently securing first rank in academic education. He was a technical consultant for multinational companies, Clayton, Tecumseh, Kothari, in addition to the Ministry of Defense India and Ethiopia. He developed a new pump for farmers, which is widely used in Ethiopia. He guided 40 research activities in India and Ethiopia. He for totally independent areas of research resulted in seven referred papers in international journals and six national conference papers. In addition to research session, chairman in international conferences, review member of international journal, main person to start PhD program in mechanical department of Addis Ababa University. Member, he was a he is a member of curriculum committee, doctoral research supervisor in different universities. He obtained 95,000 US dollar from World Bank in addition to 1.2 million Indian rupees from different governor 
agency is completed successfully so now i request uh, to our uh, that chief guest to say some word about this workshop and some word about college yeah thank you i am very thankful to nittr for making this program and making our college also one of the participant in that our college is the here existing in this southern rajasthan for the udaipur for the past 11 years and it is an iso certified and we are rated as within the fourth in the complete rajasthan by the different accredited agencies we have programs in the complete in ug stream as well as in the pg stream and planning to start our phd program also phd center here now regarding the topic what has been taken it is really very much useful for the society but unfortunately it is like a diabetics which is a disease people don't take it seriously but it is slowly killing the human being this environmental is also an area which nobody bothers but it is slowly killing the the society so this is a one which we have to take into account seriously and then we have to project more and more in this type of work also my only thinking is that it also should involve people who are planning to implement it because these the measures of controlling the environment involves agencies who will be able to implement it successfully of not polluting the the environment so with this few words i thank everyone thank you very much thank you sir uh, i think we have uh, bikaner back with us i request government engineering college shichane to kindly join us all of us namaste it's a matter of great pleasure for all of us that we are organizing an nittr sponsored short term faculty development program here at bikaner two mentors are here one is sitting with me honorable professor hanuman prasad vyas our esteemed chief guest vice chancellor bikaner technical university and i am privileged that i am second side professor mp punia sir who was our principal he is director of nit pontiar chandigarh i am very happy that we are organizing this course at our government engineering college bikaner respected professor hp vyas sir is here with all of us i request him to share his words of wisdom with all of us professor vyas sir i am very glad that nit pontiar is organizing this short course on environment and non conservation energy it is right time to do this thing if you look at the last few years germany took as a national mission to convert all their power to photovoltaic up to 5% of the energy france is the leading uh, manufacturer of the biogas plant and i recently read that uh, china has got 38 million biogas plant so we at gpu are starting a major program on non conventional energy which will include biogas and and uh, passive heating for solar and water although in this part of rajasthan there were lot of sun and the government level quite a bit of work is being done on the power generation through photovoltaic but at university level we are trying to take a practical approach so that some kind of employment can be generated related to the solar cooking and solar water heating so i wish well to this organizer of this course and hopefully all, all the participants in bikaner will be uh, benefited by this course thank you thank you professor vas uh, i think uh, we have been joined by indo global college as well we can have their introduction first okay. indo global college <coughs> हेलो हेलो दे नॉट कनेक्टेड ओके सो इंडो ग्लोबल कॉलेज हैज बीन डिस्कनेक्टेड वी मूव टू एल आर पॉलिटेक्निक सोलन आई इनवाइट द कोऑर्डिनेटर टू काइंडली इंट्रोड्यूस देमसेल्व्स 
एल आर पॉलिटेक्निक सोलन यस सर यू यू आर योर माइक इज माइक इज वर्किंग हेलो यस मैम यू आर ऑडिबल हेलो यस मैम यू कैन कंटिन्यू गुड मॉर्निंग टू वन एंड ऑल प्रेजेंट हेयर टुडे आर अ कॉलेज इज ऑर्गेनाइजिंग अ वर्कशॉप ऑन एनवायरमेंटल इंजीनियरिंग हेलो यस मैम कंटिन्यू ऑडियो वी कैन हेयर यू गुड मॉर्निंग टू वन एंड ऑल प्रेजेंट हेयर टुडे आर कॉलेज इज ऑर्गेनाइजिंग अ वर्कशॉप on environmental engineering and management which is conducted by ni triple d r chandigarh now of all first of all on the opening ceremony of this workshop i would like to welcome our chief guest dr lakshmi pal singh principal of lr institute of engineering and technology please ma'am honor our sir with a bouquet Now I would like to invite Chief Guest Sir to speak few words. Sir, आप वहीं पे बैठ के बोल रहे हैं। Good morning. Today's Saturday.
आपकी साउंड आ रही है सर यहाँ पे यू कैन इंट्रोड्यूस योर चीफ गेस्ट एनजीएफ कॉलेज पलवल हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल ऑफ यू फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वुड लाइक कॉन्सुलेट एन एक्टर पॉलिसी आर फॉर ऑर्गेनाइजिंग such a nice and an educative Is seminar on excuse me sir i'm engineering uh, you are not visible please uh, oh. sir i'm bad can introduce kar dijiye aur upar aaye sir bad ke bol dijiye aaye uthe हेलो सर प्लीज आप सोफा पे बैठ जाए वहाँ से क्लियर व्यू आ रहा है हेलो हेलो यस सर यस सर वी कैन हियर यू गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल ऑफ यू फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आवर लाइफ कॉन्ग्रेट about an ITR for organizing a nice and educative seminar on environmental engineering the knowledge about environment is necessary for all all of us we must know about the global problems of pollution it causes and their remediation techniques this ICT seminar will definitely beneficial for all of us thank you thank you so much first uh, we request jiem jaipur to kindly introduce themselves jiem jaipur good morning ma'am am i audible there yes you are audible please uh, good morning ma'am and good morning uh, dignitary is sitting on the dais yes. Communities of the dais and different centers. Uh, this is uh, a pioneer institute. Jaipur Institute of Engineering and Management is the pioneer institute in education and technology, and it is uh, running mechanical engineering, civil engineering, computer science and engineering, electronics and communication engineering, electrical engineering, uh, with their uh, unique pedagogy and methodology of teaching. Our students are also uh, making good innovative projects. Those are environmental sus sustainable, and those are beneficial for the society. now uh, i'm uh, we are honored to have uh, professor ps galot as our chief guest who was earlier uh, in charge of ni triple tr all these programs of uh, uh, faculty training program so i'm i'm handing over our mic to professor ps galot uh, good morning ladies and gentlemen and i first of all i congratulate uh dr tulsi sardar ji and uh, as dr sanjay sharma that you have started such a wonderful program and using latest technology so once again i congratulate you and uh, let me not say much about uh, the program one thing i just thinking that the title of the program may be 
management of environment rather than environment and management because it conveys slightly different meaning. Uh, environment and management means these two separate entities. So if you are uh, having this program on man uh, environment, then probably you may uh, put this title as uh, management of environment. And I thank all of you sitting on the dais and off the dais and various centers. And I thank uh, the organizers uh, in NITER as well as uh, in uh, JIEM, Jaipur. Earlier I worked here and today they have approached me to come and see the program. So thank you very much and I uh, open this program for JIEM. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Gellor, for the kind words. Uh, we invite IMS Jammu to kindly introduce themselves. IMS Jammu. Hello. Hello. Uh, yes, please proceed. Hello. Okay. Uh, good morning, ma'am. Yes, good morning. Uh, I am speaking from YCT Yoga and the College of Engineering and Technology. It's a pride privilege for us to have such a wonderful program. Like a I am Nikhil Chandigarh. Ma'am, uh, in our program, we are having great luminaries among us. Uh, we are having our body director of uh, our college, YCT, Dr. D. L. Sharma. We are having director of the Institute of Management Sciences, Jammu. Dr. J. R. Dotra, we are having Principal ICS Polytechnic, Professor K. G. Gupta sir, we are having Principal North Polytechnic, Mr. K. R. Sharma sir, and other distinguished guests from all walks of life. So generally we are here uh, with the uh, engineers, we are having uh, faculty from different colleges, some are from mechanical branch, from electronics, from civil engineering, we are having architects. So now I would like to request our chief guest, of our college, Dr. Dr. Sharma sir, he will speak something about the topic. This is John. Yes, sir. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, sir. <coughs> Professor B. R. Sharma, Director by CEG, Yogananda College of Engineering Technology. It is Privilege of our colleagues to join and participate. Participate ICT in the ICT based uh, program on engineering and environmental engineering and management. I'm very thankful to NITA for choosing our college for this um, workshop program. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Sharma. Uh, we request Vidya Bhavan Polytechnic Udaipur to kindly introduce themselves. <laughs> Vidya Bhavan Polytechnic Udaipur. Good and uh, is it audible? Yes, yes. you are audible to us. Is it audible? Yes, you are audible. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you very much for uh, including our Polytechnic as one of the centers for this uh, short term course on environmental engineering management. It's my proud privilege to introduce uh, the great environmentalist of Rajasthan. And uh, uh, he, is, he was elected uh, with the EFPG College as vice principal. Um, uh, he is in the field of this environmental preservation movement and especially for the uh, community awareness and community participation in all issues of environment. He was also instrumental and instrumental in many of the areas on uh, environmental issues related to Rajasthan. I welcome you, sir, in this polytechnic and request you to share your words with all participants of all the centers. Thank you, Varenji. Good morning. It is a total pleasure to be here this morning to attend this program 
uh, conducted by National Institute of Technical Teachers Training and Research. I am happy to be here because this is a subject very close and dear to my heart. We have been involved with the needs of Udaipur, the overall protection of the environment of Udaipur, and we have had to face and come with so many problems and also we have had many successes and so it is going to be a mixed kind of response this morning. I am happy to note that this training program includes some crucial issues like environmental issues, water pollution, solid waste management and there is also the issue about zero waste initiatives. If we can follow the last one very carefully, zero waste initiative, that would be a major service to our cause for environment. Another thing that I feel strongly about is the awareness development in the public, especially among school going children, college students. If we catch them young, if we draw them to the concern for environment, I think we would be doing a great service. I only wish that this training program includes some modules, some components for catching children young, catching students young, and drawing them closer for conservation of environment. I congratulate the organizers of this training program, especially the Government Polytechnic College, which I am doing, which I understand is doing some government service, standards of government service to the cause of environment. And in the delight to be here this morning, I wish you all the success. Thank you. Thank you for the motiva motivating words, sir. We invite Government yeah. Polytechnic Dehradun now. Government Polytechnic Dehradun. Hello. Uh, yes. Hello, sir. Hello. Hello, sir. Yes, sir. Madam, this program is our our main activity. Engineer came in the competition to take all the respect and be known for engineer attitude, classic attitude, and the same thing that we have learned. For civil engineering, we have for sector is the character of the or the production of the engineer. Uh, and the I am on, on top of uh, the institute of technical regards to our officers of uh, the and director of the uh, And I'm, I'm very thankful to uh, me, ourselves, as part of the And uh, I would like to now the Disconnected, but uh, we did hear him. Thank you, Dr. Gupta. Uh, we invite JC Jaipur to kindly introduce themselves. Sir, 
Do not hear. I guess they got disconnected. Uh, we can go back to uh, Baba Hira Singh Bhattal Institute, Lera Gaga. Bahira Singh Bhattal College, yes, Lera Gaga. Uh, we can have uh, Lera Gaga Institute. Bahira Singh Institute, Lera Gaga. They are disconnected like, right now. JC Jaipur is here. No, no, no. Okay, so I guess uh, all the centers have been introduced to now. I request uh, Dr. P.K. Tulsi to kindly say a few words. So good morning, everyone. At the very outset, on behalf of National Institute of Technical Teachers Training and Research, I extend a very hearty welcome to all the distinguished guests and the participants of the program at ETV Studio and all the 16 centers which have connected to us for this program today. I must call the Department of Civil Engineering, Dr. Sanjay Sharma, uh, Mrs. Himi Gupta, and other faculty colleagues who have really thought of uh, providing and organizing this program on environmental engineering and management. Just to orient, the audience regarding the NITTR, this institution was earlier known as Technical Teachers Training Institute and was set up in the year 1967 and is one of the four such institutions established under MHRD Government of India to improve the quality of technical education in the respective regions. The status of this institute was elevated to National Institute of Technical Teachers Training and Research in the year 19, uh, 2003, recognizing the services provided by the institution in improving the quality of technical education. The institute at present caters to eight uh, states and one union territory. The eight states to which we cater include Chandigarh, Haryana, Punjab, Rajasthan, UP, uh, Uttarakhand, Delhi. These are the eight states and one union territory that is Chandigarh, Himachal Pradesh is one. And we not only cater to the technical institutions, but we also cater to the needs of training of the industry in and around the city Chandigarh. At present, the institute undertakes five major activities, which include education and training. And we offer long-term training programs to the clientele system. And there are six master's degree programs being offered by the institute in the areas of construction technology and management, manufacturing technology, electronics and communication engineering, computer science and engineering, <coughs> instrumentation and control, and MTech engineering education. 
these programs are two and a half years duration uh, on a regular contact mode and they are also offered on modular basis and the duration of these programs is three and a half years. These programs are offered in affiliation with Punjab University, Chandigarh. In addition to that, the institute organizes around 500 programs annually, which are of one to three weeks duration. And prior to this initiative, which has been taken up under the leadership of Dr. M. P. Punya, the director of the institute, that we have started offering programs through ICT, that is Integration of Information and Communication Technologies. Earlier, we were able to train almost 5,000 teachers annually. But since September 2012, we were able to train 10,000 teachers during the last year. And target for today, uh, this year has been 20,000 teachers. And we are very hopeful that with the integration of uh, technologies, we'll be able to achieve our target of training 20,000 teachers per year. In addition to that, we have other four major activities, which include curriculum design and development, instructional material development, research and development, and extension and consultancy services. Now, friends, in addition to that, we have around 60 students who are pursuing their PhD work under the supervision of the faculty of the institute. Uh, this particular program is very well thought of because of the major 14 challenges which have been identified by National Academy of Engineers. Some of these challenges pertain to the air, the quality of water, and then the energy which have been covered in this particular program. India, when we talk about the top 10 polluted cities when we talk about three major cities of India, that is Delhi, Calcutta, and Mumbai, they come in the list of 10 most polluted cities. And we are all witnessing the impact of this pollution on the health of the people. And when it comes to the water, Globally, one-sixth of the population doesn't have access to water. And if you take a case of Indian water, then Yamuna is the most polluted river in our country. And we all experience that the quality of water, that is the portability of water, is a big question mark. The water which is not even good for bathing, we are drinking and we have health hazards being faced on account of this. And there are many, many children across the globe and in India too, which are affected by the waterborne diseases. In addition to that, when we talk about the energy resources, though India is making our creating a niche for itself as far as wind energy is concerned, but there is a lot of requirement for energy, and that can be only fulfilled if we have alternate sources of energy. And solar energy is one, nuclear energy is another option which is available, and efforts are going on in the world that we are trying to capitalize on the solar energy as well as nuclear energy. But the challenge before us is these two types of sources they are very, very expensive. And one has to really think of cost-effective measures to generate alternate sources of energy. Coming to the solid waste management, which my colleague said also forms a part of the program, we all see the dumping of the waste. So there's a lot of requirement that we look for recycling of the waste material, whether that is a plastic, whether that is other forms of waste material, because again, this waste material is adding to the pollution in the environment. And we have tried to exploit 
I would say, the natural resources which have been uh, made available by the nature. And nature is so powerful that it tries to maintain balance when there is imbalance created by the human beings. And we all know that we are 1.21 billion people in this country and population is growing at a rate 2.4 percent annually and we are likely to surpass even China in the coming year. That day is not very far off and we'll be facing great threats on account of food, water, energy and if we really want to control all these or we want to sustain or conserve our environment and natural resources, then we have to seriously think of first controlling the population and then taking up the measures whereby we can preserve and conserve our environment. And it is not that government agencies alone, they can implement some of the policies, they can implement rules and regulations and then ensure the preservation or conservation of environment. But these are the people of the country which have to work together to preserve and conserve the environment. And I would say that teachers themselves have to play a very important role. If we try to analyze how we behave at home and how we behave at workplace, these two behavior differ to a large extent. At home, we try to adopt measures whereby we can, can optimally use, utilize the resources which are available. But when at workplace, not many of us are seriously thinking of when we leave the class, do we simply switch off the fans, the lights, the room where we are taking the class or the labs and the workshop. When we are making use of the paper, the moment you write something wrong, you tear the page, throw it in the dustbin. Are we taking care of the available resources because this paper comes from the environment? Do we take think of when we come to the institution, all of us are making use of our individual vehicles and alone we travel to our destinations and we don't even pool. Coming from the same locality, maybe we are not pooling our resources to ensure the optimal utilization of those resources. How many of us, when we are stopping at the red light, switch off the vehicle? Because when it is an ideal, the ideal condition, it is consuming the petrol. Do we take care of that? Do we put a limit on our speeds when we are flying our vehicles in the cities? Do we take care? What is the maximum speed which we should follow? We don't. When we take into account the institutions to which we belong, there is environment which can be converted into a green environment. But how many of us in the institutions take a plunge into plantation? How many of us have really planted a tree in the college? We all try to maintain beautiful small garden in our homes. But how many times we ensure that the space around at the workplace is as beautiful as the place where we reside. Simple measure which can be taken up. In the country, we have many good institutions which are really working towards and one of those institutions, Government Engineering College Bikane, from where Dr. Punya has joined us and this is one of the institution which is in remote location, but at present the environment which has been created and sir has been sharing the success story that at present 7,000 trees have been planted in the institute and they are being, uh, the uh, temperature has gone down. If the city temperature is 48, it is somewhere 46 and 47 in that college. 
it makes a difference. So are we, I give you an example of Chitkara University. They have started recycling of the waste paper. So the students were joining them at the end of the year, all the waste copies which are there, they deposit to the recycling center that is being recycled and again the notebooks are prepared and those are being utilized by the institution student faculty for their use. Now think of schools, they have also ventured into recycling of the paper which is normally available in abundance in any institution. There are also examples where MNIT Jaipur is one example and IEEE-TR, many other institutions might be an example where we are not utilizing energy resources but for heating the water, for cooking the food, for, we have tried to utilize the solar energy. Now these are some of the initiatives which have already been taken up, IIT, Kanpur, they have all uh, their lighting arrangement on the streets through solar system. And there is an automatic cutoff which is available. And if these kinds of measures are taken by all of us in various institutions, at home also as individuals, I think we can contribute our might to optimal utilization of resources and add to conserving the environment. So I simply wish all the participating teachers a very fruitful uh, interaction with the experts who have been involved in the program. And I'm very sure at the end of the program, you'll be able to evolve certain strategies which can be adopted by the institutes and by the individual teachers and students to uh, conserve the environment. With these words, I wish everybody a very fruitful uh, participation in the program. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Tulsi. Those are very motivating words. And I'm sure we all look forward to these five days in the program. Uh, we'll break now for 15 minutes, and we can get back for the lecture after 15 minutes.